In this lesson, we're going to learn how when we make a trip public, that will then update or set all of the associated diary entries for that trip as public so that those public diary entries can be viewed by other users on the map. So conceptually speaking, what we're talking about doing here is when we go to edit a trip and the user ticks this public checkbox and hits save changes, at that moment, we want to find all of the diary entries that are associated with that trip and we want to mark each one of them as being public. So in a way, we essentially want to run a make changes to a thing action multiple times once for every diary entry associated with the trip. And in Bubble, this is really, really easy to do. So we've got our button here, which we click to create or save changes to a trip within this form. And it's of course at this point when this button is clicked that we need to make changes to all of these diary entries. Now the action that we're looking for, we're making changes to things in the database. So it's gonna live under data. And it's not gonna be make changes to a thing because we're talking about making changes to multiple things, right? So, well, there it is. What about this guy? Make changes to a list of things. Could it be more in your face? We hit this, we choose what types of things in the database do we want to make changes to. All right, this is pretty self-explanatory really, isn't it? What list of diary entries do we wanna change? In other words, what specific diary entries do you want us to make changes to? So in this case, it's gonna be all of the diary entries associated with the trip within this form. So how do we find all of those diary entries? Well, remember our data structure, of course, we have diary entries, which have this trip field, which is connected to, of course, the trip data type. So I know that you can figure this out for yourself, but otherwise, let's go through it together now. No harm in practicing a little bit more. So we're gonna do a search for all of the diary entries in our database. Except, of course, it's not all the diary entries, is it? It's just the diary entries associated with the current trip that we're making changes to. So we're going to look at that trip field on each diary entry in the database, and we're going to say, hey, is your trip field equal to the trip that we're making changes to here? And that trip that we're making changes to, it lives inside of this view, and then this view's property this views property that we've labeled trip, which we set up much earlier in the course. Okay, so this search expression will return all of the diary entries connected to the current trip that we are editing. And then we can say, what changes do we want to make to all of these diary entries? So pretty obvious as well, right? We wanna set this public field for each of them to be yes, to be yes. Now, one small footnote, this isn't the only way that you can make changes to a list of things. It's gonna be a lesson a little bit later in this section of the course, where we're gonna actually look at a different way of doing this that has some slight advantages. I'll link to that particular lesson in the description for this video if you wanna already skip ahead. Otherwise, let's just go ahead now and test this out. So I've logged in here as one of my users with all of these Italian diary entries. And this trip right now is not public. What I'm gonna do just to prepare is I'm going to set these diary entries that we had set as public in the last lesson, just for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna manually set these to be no. And so, and so now what should happen when I tick this checkbox and then hit save changes is that in my database, if I hit here refresh data, I should see, and I do, all of those diary entries be marked as public. And this should mean that if I log in here as a different user and check out the map, that I'm able to see all of those diary entries, and I do, for somebody else's trip. So this is fine for setting a bunch of existing diary entries as public, but what about when we create a new diary entry? We've got to account for that scenario as well. So when we create a new diary entry from this form, i.e. when we hit create, which in bubble is this button here, 
we should probably make sure that we're setting this public field appropriately, right? And what is this going to be set to? Well, it's going to be set to whatever the public field is for the parent trip, right? So we could say this diary entries trips public, which is just the same thing as take the value of that public field on the parent trip, which is going to be a yes or a no type value, and set that value as the public value for this particular diary entry. And so if I just create a new test here, let's make this one Genoa walking or I don't know what, could be anything, set a date. And I'm just going to hit create here. And then if I go into the database, you'll see that that latest diary entry has its public field set to yes. Now I didn't add a location field because we haven't had the ability yet to be able to search for a particular location. So just to kind of cheat the system, I'm just going to add a location here instead and save that. And then I can test now that this is appearing on the map for some other user by just logging out and then logging back in now as another user so let's see, I'll open up the map and I should see something in Genoa. La la, Genoa walking, beautiful. Okay, so now our logic for handling these draft diary entries is set up. It's time to actually make this into a useful feature. So what we're gonna build in the next lesson is the ability to switch on our map view from viewing our own diary entries to viewing diary entries created by other users. So we're going to see how to set that up in the next lesson.